everyone and hope you're well. Welcome to another very special collab with my darling, darling friend, the beauty diva herself, Natalie. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely honoured to be collabing with you once again and thrilled that you've asked me and I'm so excited because Natalie is the skincare guru if ever I saw one and she knows her stuff and she came up with a great idea of let's just go back to basics let's just strip it all back and go back to what works back to the skincare basics anti-aging what we're kind of using and it doesn't have to be ultimately expensive etc etc so I'm gonna get into it so you know I was having a lot of problems with my skin so I was using with my skins with my skin using a lot of expensive products that weren't helping the situation. I don't know what caused it, whether it was an allergic reaction, whether it was my facial, God knows what it was. So I decided to bring it back down to basics. Go back to things that I know work, that are gentle on my skin, and not gonna over aggravate it anymore. So let's begin with cleansing because cleansing is, you know, the first step of good skin. You've gotta have your cleansing regime. So. When I want to remove my makeup, I always, always double cleanse and I will always use an oil or a balm. And at the moment, I am, I switch between two, Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I spoke about this in my October favourites. This is incredible. It smells divine. It's luxurious. It's calming. It's comforting. It removes all of my makeup. It doesn't leave any greasy residue. It clears out my pores and it leaves my skin soft supple and gorgeous. I absolutely adore that. I switch between that and the Dermalogica pre-cleanse. So say um, I'm in a rush or I'm going to have a shower before bed, I'll use this because then I can just slap this all over my face and just rinse it off in the shower. Whereas this you really want to massage in, take your time and really enjoy the cleansing ritual. The pre-cleanse is a great quick get your makeup off. You may not have time, you may be away or you know, and you don't have time to spend on your cleansing regime or you're tired and you just want to whip that makeup off, this is fabulous. It's a deep cleansing oil, it melts away absolutely every trace of makeup, mascara, everything and just rinses off beautifully. I absolutely adore this, I used it years ago and thought why haven't I um, revisited it so I, I tried it again and I absolutely love it it's super super gentle and because it's an oil you're not doing a lot of uh, rubbing and massaging you may not really want to do that you just literally all over your uh, dry face you add a bit of water and the same with the Elemis balm once you've massaged it all in and melted everything you add a drop of water and it turns into a milk and this further helps eliminate toxins impurities um, and your makeup and then you can either rinse off or use a cloth but uh, with the cleanse I like to rinse off and with the pro collagen I like to use a cloth because it's a bit thicker and you really want to wipe that stuff off so then for my double cleanse I then go in with a face wash I always feel when you're wearing makeup your balm or your remover removes the makeup and it prepares the skin for your cleanser you can't just go in with a cleanser because it's not gonna the active ingredients of the cleanser aren't gonna work as well as if you were using it on a clean skin so I then go in with an oldie but a goodie, which is wet because it was in my shower, is the Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy. I absolutely love this. It's um, got skin purifying, mineral rich, sea salts, peppermint and ginger. It's an anti-acne um, cleanser. It's just a clear, clear gel cleanser and it just leaves my skin feeling fresh. It's easy to use, um, it's lightweight, it's, it's just a beautiful everyday cleanser. It's not harsh on the skin, it hasn't got any alcohol, it doesn't have anti-major acne things going on in there, so it's a really nice one to use. Now, in the mornings, as an exfoliator, I've switched to Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant because this is a gentle daily cleanser. And what I love to do with this is in the mornings, I like to mix it with my facial wash to just really gently exfoliate the skin. And it's a powder that's water activated, especially for sensitive skin, which is great. But what's fantastic about it, you think, oh, it's not really gonna do much. When you rinse this off, 
skin is so so soft and smooth it's not it's not harsh it's not grainy it doesn't strip the skin it doesn't rub the skin it's so soft because it's essentially uh, rice powder but it's got super soothing ingredients in it so it's perfect if you're really struggling with acne skin or with pre-procedure skin post-procedure skin it just is so beautiful and I love 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 mixing the two together every morning and the great thing is I can use it every day which is and the reason why I need to exfoliate every day because the main component of my anti-aging regime so the main thing that's the most expensive thing which I learned from Natalie is the only anti-aging product that's actually going to make a difference to your skin is tretinoin now I use the 0.1 tretinoin cream and she's absolutely right I mean this is expensive but you this is the only thing you're actually going to see physical results with and is actually gonna get deep into the skin so I've eliminated all the other things I've been using for the moment and I'm just sticking with the tretinoin and it's absolutely again I was off it went back on it because of that horrible breakout I was having I'm using it every other night I started off using it once a week twice a week now I'm using it every other night and I, it's already clearing up so I don't feel the need to use it every night so on the nights that I don't use it I will really moisturize, moisturize and hydrate the skin which brings me to my fantastic moisturizers now I still get a bit of peeling um, with the tretinoin and that's why I like the micro, micro, microfoliant because it just keeps skin smooth in the morning you know you get those little flaky bits it just gets rid of that I also want to mention a toner um, this has been an old favorite of mine this is the Liz Earl instant boost skin tonic it's alcohol free it's rose water vitamin E I love to use this if I'm not using tretinoin and I've cleansed I will use this after my face wash just just as a nice hydrating toner and then go in with my moisturizers so what I've been using and these have been incredible and have saved my skin okay number one Neutrogena Hydra Boost this little pot of beauty has been unreal I mean it has absolutely quenched my dry flaky skin now a lot of people say they're not finding it moisturizing but the way to use this is almost as a pre moisturizer so the best way I've read to use it is once you've washed your face and it's still wet put this on because it's got um, humectants that kind of draw in the water it it works better or is activated um, faster on wet skin so I don't dab my face with a towel I go straight in with this right and it soaks in then I go in with my serum and oh my gosh let me tell you Bare Minerals Skin Longevity this stuff is incredible I use it morning and night I'm obsessed with it I use two pumps of it it completely hydrates my skin brightens my skin clears my blemishes it's incredible so after I've gone in with Hydra Boost I then go in with my skin longevity if you're not having dry skin problems and you're really really oily I would just stick with a Hydra Boost and be done but because I'm on tretinoin and my skin is dry I need all the moisture I can get so I put two pumps of this all on the skin for moisturizer this has been the best find of my life okay bioderma ultra moisturizing compensating care I have been looking for a moisturizer like this for so long because nothing was hydrating my skin I'd put the moisturizer on and then by the time I went to do my makeup my skin was dry again now this I read up all moisturizers and I thought I've got to find a affordable moisturizer this is about 11 pounds um, in your local drugstores now it's for acne prone skin ultra dry due to treatments need I say more this was made for the post tretinoin skin and let me tell you it is a godsend it is absolutely incredible it's so nourishing and moisturizing and soft but not oily and it says it's an excellent base for makeup which it is makeup goes on so beautifully and usually when I put a moisturizer on 
a couple of hours later I feel dry. This, you get a sensation of just having put your moisturiser on all day. Like your face feels so comfortable. You know when you get those dry bits, like I get all dry here. The rest of my face is like oily schmoily, but here is dry. And it's like, you know, you feel like you can't really move this bit of your face. It's like, ooh, 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 ooh. But this, oh, it's like exactly what it says in the tin, compensating care. But it's for acne prone skin, which is just what we need. Because how difficult is it? You've got oily skin, you've got acne, but it's dry as hell. So you can't then go in with rich moisturizers that block the pores. It completely de defeats the purpose of your tretinoin. So this is absolutely perfect because it's specially formulated for dried out acne prone skin. It doesn't break you out. It doesn't feel heavy. You don't feel like you've overloaded on anything. Layering these products has just been magical for me. Absolutely magical because each one is, it has its own specific job and it doesn't feel heavy. And I think layering is actually um, a much better way of doing things rather than just piling on one thick cream. Um, and the fact that they're all sensitive as well is just, I, ad oh, I adore this. This is absolutely my favorite. Out of everything that I've been using lately, this has been my favorite. 11 pounds, this moisturizer, compared to, and I'm not knocking a bargey, but compared to a cream that's over 100 pounds. That's supposedly supposed to, uh, you know, reinforce DNA, DNA cells and blah, blah, blah. If you're using the Retin-A, that's all, that's, I feel, all the anti-aging you need. You can use things like niacinamide, hydro, um, hydroronic acid. All of those things have anti-aging properties, but it's a s sort of slower effect. Do you know what I mean? This, I mean, overnight. But I've had to really work my way up with it again go through all the peeling again, go through all the redness again, but it does work. It keeps skin smooth, it keeps pores clear, and my skin is finally getting back to normal. Um, and, I, and I feel like the, gen the gentle approach helps. And things don't have to be expensive. They don't have to be, you know, out of this world ridiculous to get results. So that's it. That was my skincare basics. I'm so happy to do this collaboration with Natalie. I can't wait for you to see her finds because I'm telling you, I write notes. I sit there with my note, notepad of pain because her recommendations are life. Like, just look at her skin and you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like, she's amazing. So please go to her channel, tell her I sent you over there, say hi, show her some love, subscribe to her and give her all the love in the world because she is one of the most beautiful people inside and out. I love you, Natalie. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye.